What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Colton and I'm gonna talk to you about cryptocurrency, Elon Musk, Twitter, all that good stuff. So let's jump right into it. It is Elon Musk's first day at Twitter. And it's kind of a funny video, I'm gonna show it to you. They just posted this. I don't know how I feel about the whole thing. Pretty funny. I wonder who made this actually. Anyways, the reason why he is doing that, why he's shooting everyone and saying you're fired is because he actually has fired a few people and I'm gonna share with that later in, in this video. So breaking, as we know, Elon Musk has taken full control of Twitter. This is absolutely insane. If you really think about it, he bought it for $44 billion. Insane, absolutely insane. So what does he do, the first thing he does? Well, he fires the CEO. Elon Musk fires Twitter CEO. And he fires the chief financial officer. He fires both of the big players in this company. Why? Because he probably thinks he's running, they're running the company very poorly. Um, I'm excited to see what Elon will do. I think there's some big things coming for Twitter. I, It has become one of my favorite platforms to use, one of my favorite social platforms. Also go follow me on Twitter and mess with Colt um, because there's not really much censorship on there. So you can post basically whatever you want. It's actually pretty cool. Crazy thing too, uh, well, this says Twitter CEO and CFO were reportedly escorted out of the company headquarters. And this was yesterday. So it, as soon as he took control, he immediately fired the CEO and CFO and he fired the head of legal affairs. She was the person <clears throat> that made the decision to ban the former president Donald Trump's Twitter account. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you know that I posted about Trump being back on Twitter on Monday. His account is actually gonna be reinstated. So that's kind of some exciting news. It's actually pretty funny to read these comments down here because some people <laughs> are just loving it. Other people are not loving it. Anyways, kind of interesting. With the whole Twitter, um, him buying Twitter and everything, of course you guys are gonna know, Dogecoin is pumping. Exactly like I thought it would. So I've been saying this for a while, if you've been following me or following my live streams, it looks like we are in a bull flag, right? This is on the weekly time frame, and if you scroll back, every single cycle Dogecoin goes in, we're in a bull flag. So right here, this was back in 2000 and 18, 19, and 20 before it rallied upwards. This whole thing was a bull flag, right? And this was a bull flag as well. Both these are bull flags, and I currently think we are in a bull flag. So take what you will. You can listen to me, you don't have to listen to me. But if you follow my live streams, you know I've been talking about these um, support and resistance line that I have highlighted in yellow. And look what's happening. We're getting resistance right on that level right there. About eight and a half cents, like I was saying. If Dogecoin, it did break out, come down and retest, which is actually a good thing. And I actually like that. It's kind of looking, uh, it's looking bullish right now. Obviously this could be a buy the rumor, sell the news type of event. But if we get a little more volume down here, maybe like we did right here and blast through this, I would look for somewhere up towards 10 and a half cents or 11 cents right here. So I would look actually in, you know, this area roughly. It could it could do something like this, break through it, which it kind of looks like it is. It's up 11% today. Break through it, <laughs> trade for a little bit, maybe come down, retest this, and then go back up like that. Could do that. Or also it could go straight up here. Maybe do this for a little bit, come down, retest, and then break back up and look for this next line right there at 13 cents. Huge moves in Dogecoin. You can see it's up 35%, <laughs> which is absolutely insane because he's a, he's approaching the Twitter deal, you know? This is actually really a really big deal. He tweets about it, he used to tweet about it nonstop. He's kind of stopped as of right now, but this guy has so much power in this space, in the crypto space, in the world. He's the richest person in the world worth 
billions, hundreds of billions of dollars. The Dogecoin market cap right now is sitting at 11.4 billion. That's great. And the trading volume is at 3.5 billion, which is insane, you know? That could probably compete with Bitcoin on some days, Ethereum. We all know something big is gonna happen with Twitter because of this guy right there. Don't we all love him? He's the funniest dude. All right, Bitcoin, let's look at Bitcoin. Currently trading at $20,371. Um, we're looking at this on the weekly time frame. It's kind of been in the sideways, sideways range for a little bit. Um, people are getting, honestly, they're getting kind of bored. The volumes kind of going up actually a little bit. Um, see that green line right there? That's a good sign. We like to see that. We like to see those green candles. Um, Cause once you see like a bunch of green candles like this, then you look for a huge rally to the upside. Boom. Who remembers this one when it went from 3K up to 14K? I do. I loved it. The first one, actually it's kind of interesting. The first runner in this right here was actually Litecoin. You guys remember Litecoin? It hit like 20 bucks and then it rallied all the way up to, oh, I think it was like just under 200 bucks. And then Bitcoin followed after that. So maybe watch out for Litecoin. That could be actually a good um, good thing to watch out for. Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index sitting at a 30. We're still in a fearful state. Last week we were at an extreme fear. That's when Bitcoin was, you know, 18K. Now it's sitting at 20K. Last month we were still in extreme fear. Um, the markets are looking actually pretty good right now. And I'm excited to see where this actually goes. There's some pretty big news in XRP. So XRP right here. We are having a double bottom. It looks like to me, right? This is a accumulation phase. So that's when it ran up to um, last bull run, it ran up to $3.22 about, and then it had dropped massively, right? Had this rounded bottom, which is a good sign. And what we could do is be forming another one just like that. And then eventually, boom, to the moon. Who likes XRP? Comment down below if you do like it. I actually, it's kind of grown on me. You know, the more people, there's a huge community behind XRP and that's why I do like it. It's because um, this community is kind of like the Doge community. Dogecoin has a massive following behind it and that's why it pumps so hard. So once XRP wins this lawsuit, we could see like these huge moves upward. This like a huge move upward, just like Dogecoin had back here. Speaking of Doge, you know, we're breaking through that eight and a half cents. So I would look for a retest down to this yellow line. If we break through it and go maybe up to 10 cents, 10 and a half cents, come back down, retest, could be a good buying opportunity. Could be a good buying opportunity. So we're going to look at this girl, Marin Altman. Very interesting. She posts some um, crazy pictures, as you can see. Um, yeah. Kind of crazy pictures, right? So she, what's interesting about her is back in May, she called a Bitcoin move on May 16th and she posted that on January 22nd, 2021. So we're gonna look at that. So we're gonna look at May 16th, right? On Bitcoin. So this is Bitcoin, right? We're gonna go auto and we're gonna actually go to the daily time frame. And we're gonna look at where May 16th was. I repeat, May 16th. And that was right here on that candle, right? She said something crazy was gonna to happen to Bitcoin. And from the time she called it, so that was the top of the candle, down to the very bottom, it dropped 41%. Bitcoin dropped 41% from when she said something big was gonna to happen to Bitcoin, right? How does she know that? I have no idea. Maybe something to do with astrology. I don't really know. Anyways, this is the newest one. Um, and she posted that on January 22nd, 2022. And she said on October 28th, which is today, something big is going to happen in the crypto space. And she said, take note. I don't know exactly what she means, but this is going to get insane. She also posted a while ago, I don't know if I can find it. Oh, she said, take care over the next few days as this week looks like an intense one. She's predicting something with astrology, the crypto markets, I don't know, but that 
today is that day. It is October 28th and something big could be happening to the crypto markets. Um, Elon Musk is buying Twitter, which pump, which is pumping Doge. Um, I don't know. There's a, there's could be a lot going on right now. There really could be a lot going on, but we're just going to have to wait out and find, and I'll keep you guys posted on it. So forget, don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.